What's up guys? We are in Port St. Joe, Florida. We just got here today. Um, and believe it or not, yeah, I'm on the coast. I'm on the Emerald Coast of Florida, the Forgotten Coast down here in Port St. Joe, Florida. And yeah, I'm finna freshwater fish. Yeah. We're at a, uh, a actually a, a, a city park here in uh, the city of Port St. Joe. And um, yeah, I still got a couple of tournaments that I'm in on uh, Tourney X and I want to try this little lake out that's uh, a city lake. I've heard some things about it. I heard there's fish in it. Um, so we're gonna give it a shot. Just, uh, I got my bump board with me to maybe hopefully add to the tally on one of my tournaments. But today we're going to freshwater fish. Tomorrow we're going to, to the uh, to uh, uh, Cape Sandblast to do some surf fishing, which that video will come up later. But for today, we're gonna to walk around this little beautiful lake and do some freshwater fishing, maybe catch us some bass. Let's go. I have no idea what's in this thing. I have no idea what's in this lake. It's a city pond and uh, who knows what's in it, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Got the Zara Spook. Give it a shot. But it'd be fun to maybe catch us something. It's worth a hoot anyway. Ain't it? Worth a hoot. And see this water right here comes in from the from the Gulf actually. What am I getting? <laughs> Y'all have no idea whether there's anything substantial in here or not. I have no um, information on this little lake. It goes way over there. It's like I said, it's beautiful, but I just have no information on this lake at all and whether or not there's anything in it. This is kind of like going off the whim, whether we catch something or not. We might, and we might not. I think we're gonna walk around there to the big part. Let's walk around there. I don't know, maybe we'll look up. Maybe we will look up and catch something. Who knows? I see one blow up on that thing. I'm using the mini Zara Spook. I say it's mini, I think it's three inches long. Caught a couple of fish on it. Oh, 
look at there. That's gonna give him one of there. Just going to win bam, y'all. I mean, I have no idea about this place. Like I said before in the video, I'm just trying something here at this city park here in Port St. Joe. Who knows? I'm gonna catch a record out of here. You don't you can't never tell. I've yet to have a hit. Like I said, you can't never tell what may hit. I got a <clears throat> I got a culprit June bug on it right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a, a different color. Got my bag with me. Yes, I have a fanny pack on. Let me go to this red. Let's try this red. Red tail. It's gonna be the uh, black with the red tail culprit. I do have some spinner baits and buzz baits with me, but I don't think we're gonna get that far. I'm just trying to catch one or two just to say I can say I caught some here we may what we may go down to the seawall here in a minute I don't know I know what time it is Come down in the morning. Come down here in the morning won't be rough.
them to go away. Give me one. One good one. About my lure. One time, one time only. <laughs> Man, it's really rough. I've never seen this dark here. Well, the tide's out too, so hopefully in the morning the tide will be in and have a little bit more luck. A little bit better luck anyway. But who knows? Again, just like that pond I went to a few minutes ago, just don't know. Until you try it. I figure the tide might be coming back in this, this afternoon, but it's not. It's so. all right. Well, it wasn't too bad, but we tried. Get a little stormy out there, but we got some cut bait out. We're out here on the uh, Cape Sandblast. The water's really pretty, a little rough, but uh, anyway, I got cut bait out. Pan pursuit. I'm getting a, getting a couple of bites here and there, but nothing significant right now. But we're gonna keep on trying. We just got here, so we'll see what happens. See y'all, we're out here at uh, Cape Sandblast. See, I've got a couple of rod and reels out. I got my brother-in-law and the wife down there doing their thing. They got some, we're just using shrimp. Just having a good time. There's a pretty significant storm behind us. Hopefully it won't hit us. I think it's going to go to the south of us and just kind of skirt us here on Cape Sandblast. But the water's beautiful. It's a beautiful day here on the Panhandle of Florida. Hopefully everyone's having a great weekend. We're having a blast out here in Florida at my brother and sister's place. And uh, just doing a little fishing, having a good time. So I hope y'all are enjoying the video up to this point. I know we ain't caught a lot of fish. I did catch a couple of flounder this morning, but the... Uh, the GoPro, I forgot my daggum batteries for it, so I didn't get any of that on camera, but oh well, it's all good. But we're just enjoying this beautiful day on the beach here in Cape Sandblast. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll catch a couple of fish. Y'all don't go nowhere. Beautiful day here on the beach. Seagulls waiting on a handout. Isn't that funny? I mean, there's 20 or 30 of them right there. 
beautiful homes behind us here on Cape Sandblast. The tides went out and the uh, fish have pretty much quit biting. We was getting a couple of hits here and there. I caught a couple of small ones with nothing, nothing crazy. Anyway, it wasn't it wasn't uh, a real hard bite, but you know we we caught a couple of small ones. My brother-in-law caught a couple of small ones, um, mostly croaker, a couple of little nasty little catfish. Um, I threw out a little bit of cut bait, thought I might get a get something on the cut bait, but nothing. But the uh, tide has definitely went out, and you know just sorry about the wind. It is windy out here, but. You can see behind me the the tent is a blowing. But we've had uh we've had a lot of fun out here on Cape Sandblast and we're gonna fish probably another hour. We'll see what happens, but just uh man. The tide went out, fish quit biting. But fun nonetheless, I promise you that.